future is in your, um, hands? Welcome back to the final part of the Sumo Sheffield Play Spider series. This time out, we've got a runaway train to stop and our guests talk about their favourite parts of the game. I'd, um, I'd go on the App Store, I'd read the reviews, I'd respond to every single review. And I did that for about six months, you know, the good ones, the bad ones, the, the ones with feedback. We, we kind of took all that stuff and we tried wherever possible to, to implement any feedback. And, you know, there was, like, there was another very popular game that came out during COVID, Animal Crossing, right, which people kind of gravitated to because it was this cozy escapism. But quite a lot of people found that in playing Spider as well, which was really sort of like heartwarming and, and, and gratifying to know that, um, you know, I, I specifically remember someone saying, this is the game I needed right now. And it's like, ah, oh, that's just, you know, to get that response, it's just incredible. Um, and to have that kind of uh, interaction as well with, with the people that, that, that were playing the game and were giving us feedback, good and bad, you know, although mostly good. I mean, we did get like a, I think, I think we, we were mostly at like a 4.2 out of 5, I think, on, on the App Store, which is great. So like 84%, which, you know, is, is a really great score for, um, for a team that, you know, that builds any game. So it was a weird time post-Spider, um, but I like to think that it helped a few people through a difficult time. Um, having something that was kind of low impact, it was just a puzzle game. It was kind of, it, all, the, all the kind of tension and stress is kind of orchestrated. It's not really there. Like we were talking about the water level yeah. rising. It's not actually rising. It's like, it's rising to a certain level. It's not gonna get any worse. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna put any time pressures on you and things like that. And it's just spending your time in a, in a world so completely different and trying to solve these puzzles and interact and just, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a weird, interesting, time <laughs> were you on it after after we went started working from home because obviously we we had qa we did have bugs and things that we did we did fix uh, obviously after what, like like you have with every project but I'm, i can't even remember now we did how we even did that i think we we trimmed the qa team down after that and i think it was just mark and jordan that were left it on it could have been uh, mm. and carried over for the mini games um, but no we, we were on it right up until I, if I remember correctly it was around April time so that yeah, was right. I think we went home um, to work from home on like March the 12th or something this mm. came out on March the 20th and then we did another couple of weeks on it and then the, the QA team was sort of split um, and yeah I was quite sad about that to be honest with you because mm. I remember Jordan saying he was having a great time on the mini games yeah the micro mission stuff is is really really good I'm not sure how many people um, play it it's because there's 30 of them and it's there's meant to be basically one a day and it's all kind of high score based which is very different to to this i can't remember how this mini game works i don't think it's supposed oh, to oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah one step forward two steps exactly. back exactly uh, <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen to your own mantra nick um, so i was going to ask that how did you find certainly the, the initial stages of kind of the the pandemic how did you find working on this is QA. It was really tricky because obviously nobody knew how long the actual pandemic was going to last for. So when we initially went home, um, it was two weeks, we imagined that we'd be working mm. from home. And so we only prepared for that. Like we didn't take a full range of devices home with us. Um, we sort of took a very select set of target platforms and that was pretty much it. Um, and yeah, obviously it wasn't two weeks. It was like a couple of years. And I mean, Sumo especially is still in that. Do you want to take this, actually? I'm sure. I'm just hogging yeah, all the yeah, gameplay. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. You know, we're still in that sort of now. Now we work from home or um, we're flexible or whatever. So there's a lot of processes that are in place to facilitate uh, much easier working from home. But for us, it was still at the beginning of IT, really. Um, I mean, working like crazy. Um, mm, they did an incredible job. They were incredible. Like, honestly, I do not envy them at all during that time. But, yeah, they did an amazing job of, of trying to get all those systems in place as soon as. But... Yeah, for us, every single day really was, um, it was a take it, take each day as it comes sort of thing. We, we knew that we could only test as much as we could physically test on the devices that we had. Um, and we were obviously always keeping in touch with the news to find out when we could go back into work. And 
yeah, it was just it was really interesting balance for us to try and keep the morale up when we've just been split from our amazing team and we're all at home yeah. and we don't get to celebrate the launch together. Um, so yeah, very interesting and unique times for us. But the QA team, I was incredibly proud of, like the way that they managed to be able to just pick this up and run with it. And, and to be honest with you, I feel like the quality of tests that we managed to achieve in those first few weeks of being at home really was not to it didn't differ much from the, the sort of standard of tests that we would have been able to provide in office with access to all 50 of our devices and all of our um, Macs and everything like that. So, yeah, they did incredibly well to sort of remain super flexible, but still get the job done. And yeah, it was a testament, like you say, to the, the reviews are a testament to mm. I think how well all of the team did to get fixes in um, and to get them verified because it was just so well received by the public. Mm. And that was brilliant for us to see. Yeah, really was. So I'm both going to ask you a question. I'm kind of as, as we kind of start to, to finish off here. I'm going to ask you both a question, but I'm going to ask you individually. Um, and Emma, I think I'm going to go to you first. Like, what what thing are you? What feature or what part of, of Spider are you most proud of? Particularly when you look back now. Honestly, the, his legs, and that sounds really like broad and silly, but from a test point of view. Um, you always want stuff that you never want anything visually to take away from the game. Like if someone is playing a game and they think, oh, that doesn't look great. As a QA tester, you feel like, oh, man, we should have spotted that. And for me, like his legs were just a great challenge because every single thing that you can interact with, you can approach from almost a 360 degree angle. He's got legs that sit in all different places. And I feel like it was just a huge credit to the character team um, and to the QA team to search out all of these little bugs of his legs. Um, and yeah, I just find that as a character, there's never any point that you look at him and think, oh, he looks a bit weird. And I, I don't know, I think I'm just super proud of the fact that he's just this cute little guy that maneuvers so gracefully around these levels. So uh, as, as Emma was speaking, Nick was having, Nick was really engrossed in this puzzle. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these, these little wire cutting boxes that I got, they're, they're different each time. We obviously built like maybe five or six of them, but like they're quite tricky to, you're basically having to like mm. mentally trigger, uh, trace the, the the wire back. I'm having a blast playing this, to be yeah. honest. Is it nice looking back, like with with a bit of you know, obviously game dev is such, can be such a a a not stressful time, but like a, a very busy time where you can perhaps not uh, not have taken the step back to see the the enormity of the final product that you've created. Is it nice to come back and see the the product in its in its I guess finality? Um, now that you've got distance from it, absolutely, and uh, you know you can tell from from the way that we you know like the way I'm going to probably mess this up, uh, like we, you know it's it's been a while since we played it, and, and it, I think a lot of I can't tell if we did it or not. We did it. Hey, yeah, look um, at that. Nice. You know, I think a lot of people who work on games they don't necessarily go back and play mm -hmm. the things that they, you know, they've, they've completed, you know, and, and finished working on. You're kind of always moving, moving forward. Um, Spider's got, I think because of, because of the challenges we faced in, in making it and, and trying to find ha what this game was and, and how to build a world for this character and like really the sort of limited amount of time that we had once we got that to, to put this, this game together. It was a really, it was a pretty stressful, wait, let me two, four, one, check. Two, two, four, four. One, three. Yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty, you know, stressful project in some ways but now with all this distance it's like I think anybody you talk to about it who, who worked on it there's a, a real fondness for it yeah. and like like I say through through all of the challenges there's this real that you can tell there's a lot of love in this game and it's you know, not many games you kind of have that there's, this, there's some charm to this game that sort of feels really personal like people cared you know like just little attention to detail like now that we've triggered this poison gas, the guy who's the, the train guy who's in the is in the back is like coughing a little bit. You know, we, we like, he stopped doing it now. But he did it in the cutscene. Um, you know, and again, like we're talking about the radio up here. Like if you, if you do play this game, like go go listen to the radio up here. It's just like fun little Easter eggs. You know, there's a notepad here, all of this stuff. Like new, my passwords, brilliant, and sort code on there as well. So you can probably try and get into that guy's account. This is um, what I like about this as well. There's a little bit of a hint there too as to where to find one of the handles for the air there? vents. Yeah. Reminder, so this, you get something fix, from fix exploring. That, fix the knob. Spares in the draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Days until retirement. One day. Oh, he's <laughs> oh, only no. one, one day, day from, from retirement. retirement. 
Um, yeah, so I mean, for me, like the, the thing that stands out more than anything is, is you know, the team did an inc just such an incredible job. Um, and uh, unlike me, who can't work out what I'm meant to do next. The fans, you've got to turn the fans I've off. I've got to turn the fans off. Okay, yeah. these, these guys over here. Yeah, but see, this one's got the broken handle. But you just oh, found out it's in the drawer. It's yeah. in the drawer. Look at Layers you. to these It's puzzles. quite a difficult game to sort of play and... Uh, and you're doing a very good job, though, yeah, and, uh, I have to say. Talk about. So, yeah, it's, it's not very often I go back and play anything, mm -hmm. really, that I've, I've, I've worked on. And, and this is kind of just a... It's just fun to go back and... And play. Did that work? And you got to push the little handle. You got to push, well. yeah, push oh, the handle. Oh gosh! See, everybody knows what they're doing much better than me. Why is that not working? Oh come on! Oh, you're not attached to it. I'm not attached to it. But no, I, can't you, I move. think this one in particular you had to get from a certain angle. There, there, there we go. See, it's the panic. It's because it's timing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. right next, Emma? Uh, left and down, I believe. Left and down. Yeah. There's one over here. Is this it? Oh, yeah. There's one up there, and then I think there's one at the very end of the... I'm sure there was three. You're there right. These are a little bit fiddly, aren't they? Um, yeah, I think it's because it's a side-to-side -side mm -hmm. one, rather yeah. than a back push. You've got to grab it from the side on. There we go. Oh. Hey! Oh, so how there many fans have I got? I've only got one? Okay, what? Well, I Oh, did you? Oh no! Is that is it? Because it's not. Is it not working? Did you have to? Did you put the dial over the to the full works, side on the other really. one? This you can. We, did, we didn't mention the calculator works. No. You know, so. <laughs> we love that though. Oh, I it's going the wrong way. It's it's blowing in. Look oh, at that. No. Look at that visual storytelling. Let's, let's change the direction. Yeah, there we go. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm sure fan three is basically opposite mm -hmm. that window where the. Uh, the drive, yeah, you can yeah. see the driver through. There we go. Nearly there. So as you're solving this problem, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Emma and Nick, which was, is, is, is there a particular feature that you are, or, or part of this game, that, that looking back you are especially proud of? Like I say, I think it's, it's the team. I think the team just did such an incredible job. Yeah. And um, all, all departments, like, like I, I've mentioned the audio, um, that, that you know we can't hear unfortunately at the moment because we're recording is just fantastic the, the art is incredible and, and so is, and the amount of like scalability that needed to be put on the art to to, to run on all these different platforms that the amount of effort that getting just even um, agent a up and running um, i hope i'm doing this the right way um, everybody really pulled together on, on a challenging project and um, i think it it's just it sort of it shows in in all of the the detail and attention and like um you know i'm I'm playing this and i'm smiling at it and i can't think mm -hmm. of many other games that i've worked on where uh, you know I'm, I'm proud of everything i've worked on but would i play it with a, a grin like i have been for the last you know two hours on, on this oh, oh i missed the oh, first two four. was it four three two one no three four two one then the gas is making it difficult Yeah. Three, three, four, four two, two, one. one. We got it. Three, four, two, one. We're there not done yet, is. are we? Are we done no. yet? No. Disable the poison, the poison gas. Canister. Canister. And I guess this is this is what you were saying about your philosophy of, of one step forward, two steps back. Yeah. Always having things, I guess, that, that, that crop up that you need to do, right? Yeah, so it's all of these little complications along the way of um, something that's simple, like you've got to stop the train, stop mm -hmm. the train from getting derailed. But it's like, what are all the steps you need to take? And what are the, all the steps you've got to take as a three centimetre spider? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like if you were a human, you pull the brakes, but you can't yeah. do that as a three centimetre spider. So what are the little complications that we can put in to a level to, to have a, a, this tiny little character do this again, David and Goliath thing mm -hmm. of... of stopping an a out-of-control speeding train. So now we're speeding through this tunnel. Yeah, so speeding through this tunnel. And I've got to slam the brakes on. So this is another mini game that I might fail. I've got to, I seem to remember this one was a little bit trickier than mm. the others. Mm. So you've got to keep the bar within the... 
Because last time you did this, it was going to fail regardless, right? Yes. Yep. But this time, it's you can be successful. Yeah, they'd basically sabotage the brakes and then set up a booby trap mm. to poison the carriage. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. You see the tunnel slowing down oh. as we do it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. One day of safe journeys. Just in time. Just in time. Too close. <laughs> Too close. Well done, Agent. There we go. Yeah, big smiles. Big smiles. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So I think with Off the Rails completed, we are going to end it there. Lovely. Thank you so much, Nick and Emma. It's been absolutely fantastic to have yeah, you. Yes, it's on. been great. It's been um, a pleasure, yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you uh, subscribe on all the social channels and you give us a subscribe on our YouTube as well. We'll be here next time round with some more devs and another game. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you all later. Bye. Bye.